Welcome to NEV Physics. I am Sunil Saha and in this video you will first have an introduction to thermal expansion. Then you will learn about linear expansion and the coefficient of linear expansion. When temperature is increased, there is increase in length, area and volume of the body. This is called thermal expansion. Increase in temperature increases the movement of molecules. This causes the molecules to take more space. So sustains expands on heating. You must have seen some gap kept in the railway track. The track expands when the temperature rises and it contracts when the temperature falls. A tight bottle lid opens easily when hot water is poured over the lid due to thermal expansion. Thermal expansion can be in one dimension, that is along length, in two dimension, that is in area, and also in three dimension, that is in volume. Thermal expansion in one dimension is also called linear expansion. In linear expansion, substances like iron rod when heated increases in length. Thermal expansion in two dimension is also called superficial expansion. In superficial expansion, when substances like a thin metal sheet when heated increases in length as well as in breadth, or there is increase in area. Thermal expansion in three dimension is also called cubical expansion. In cubical expansion, Substances like a metal cube when heated increases in length, breadth and height or there is increase in volume. Now let's learn about the coefficient of linear expansion. But before we derive the expression for the coefficient of linear expansion, let's see what's the meaning of coefficient of linear expansion. Every substance does not expand equally for the same rise in temperature. Substance with the greater coefficient of expansion expands more than the substance with smaller coefficient of expansion for the same rise in temperature. For example, the coefficient of linear expansion of aluminium is 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree Celsius and the coefficient of linear expansion of copper is 11 into 10 to the power minus 6 per degree Celsius. It means that an aluminium rod of length 1 meter increases by 25 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter for 1 degree Celsius rise in temperature, whereas copper expands only by 11 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter. Now let's learn to derive the expression for the coefficient of linear expansion. We have an iron rod of length L1 and initial temperature theta 1 degree Celsius. When the iron rod is heated for some time, its temperature rises and it expands. Let the final temperature of iron rod be theta 2 degree Celsius and the final length of the rod be L2. Then the change in length of the rod is denoted by delta L. Change in length is equal to final length minus initial length and that is equal to delta L. And similarly, 
change in temperature is equal to final temperature minus initial temperature and that is theta 2 minus theta 1. Now experimentally the change in length is found to be directly proportional to the original length of the body and we know that the original length of the rod is L1 so we can write del L is proportional to L1 let it be equation 1 also the change in length is directly proportional to the change in temperature so we can write del L is proportional to theta 2 minus theta 1 let it be equation 2. Combining equation 1 and 2, we get del L is proportional to L1 times theta 2 minus theta 1. Now using a proportionality constant, this equation can be written as del L is equal to alpha L1 times theta 2 minus theta 1. Let it be equation 3. In equation 3, Alpha is a proportionality constant, which is called the coefficient of linear expansion of the material of the rod. Now in equation 3, if we write alpha in the left hand side, then we get alpha is equal to del L by L1 times theta 2 minus theta 1. This is the final expression for the coefficient of linear expansion. For the definition of the coefficient of linear expansion, we do the following approximation. We approximate the original length of the rod to unity and also the change in temperature of the rod to unity. Then we get alpha is equal to delta L. So coefficient of linear expansion is defined as change in length per unit original length per unit change in temperature. Now let's find the final length of the rod. From the diagram, the final length of the rod L2 is equal to L1 plus delta L. Here if we substitute the value of delta L from equation 3 then we get L2 is equal to L1 plus alpha L1 times theta 2 minus theta 1. Now taking L1 as common in the right hand side, we get the final expression for the final length of the rod after expansion. Thanks for watching. If you are finding the videos useful, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming videos.